Hey y'all, I know that it has been a whole ass minute since I have done a YouTube video, but I figured now that I'm living in the US, in Charlotte, North Carolina, and there are just so many more options for Americans, like plus size American bodies, um, to shop at that I'm gonna be buying a whole bunch of new stuff. My wardrobe looks a heck of a lot different than what I'm gonna need in Canada. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well start up YouTube again. Might as well film the process. Might as well show you what this head is thinking when I try on the clothes. And maybe it'll inspire you guys to step outside your comfort zone and change your style a little bit and experiment with it. Maybe not change the style, but experiment with the style and find your group because that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing on my channel uh, now, is finding my groove again because I had it in Toronto and then I feel like isolation just like, I don't know, it took all my creative fashion juices and was like, what are you doing getting ready anyway? Because you don't have anywhere to go. So there was that. And so I'm looking to get back into it, looking to experiment, like I said, with my style, show y'all what things look like on a plus size body. And yeah, I did already do some purchasing. Y'all know my first purchase was going to be from Target, Target all day. I do not like that they sent me four different packages for, I think I ordered five or six items. I don't even remember. This is going to be like a birthday surprise. Every day my birthday. Um, so I'm kind of excited about this because I was excited to do the order, but sometimes I'll like order and then I'll get it in and I'll be like, what did I even see? And I'll even like look on the website and see what I purchased. And I'm like, how did I like this even on the website? What was going through my mind that I was like, you know what, Carrie, you got to purchase this. So this will be interesting. All right. So to be real, I have five pieces. Um, and at a first glance, I am like so excited. This is a dress. I'm so excited to see this puppy. And I'm already questioning where my thought actually, okay, no, I know where my thought pack. See, I needed to just see it on the camera in order for me to kind of see it. But when you get it close, it is a bunch of little florals. And I'm trying to step away from florals a little bit, but I like the colors of it. And that's why I purchased it. All right, so let's just rip the Band-Aid off on this one. Um, it's got a lot of stretch, which I like, especially for bustier, my bustier babes. Uh, I would have sized down probably like two sizes <laughs> if it were up to me, because I like a little bit of a tighter fit. Uh, it has pockets, so that is exciting. Um, it was only $30, so not a bad price point, but I feel like it's a little bit too long for me personally. I like my dresses to be a little bit shorter or to be a maxi. Uh, these kind of like mid-length tight dresses, I feel like just because of my height, it makes me look shorter than I am. Is This one's a no for me, dog, but what do you guys think of it? I will link everything down below that if you are interested in it, because everyone has their own personal style. Um, it is a light material. It is great for fall. So if you do like it, I think that this would be really good, but I feel like it's, it just, I feel like it ages me, to be honest. So here's the next dress and at a first glance, I love this dress. Like I think it is adorable. Um, however, <laughs> it has no stretch and it is fairly short. So me personally, I would wanna give this dress some shape. So I would definitely add a belt, but then it makes the back really short. Like really short. I love this, but I wish it was a little bit longer and um, had like just a little bit of stretch, you know, like when you go to sit down, um, I would want to be comfortable. It does have pockets, 
But as you can see, as soon as I put my hands in my pockets, you have the belly outline, which I would wear shapewear anyway underneath this. Um, but that's just me personally. It is like a high neck, so you just tie it. But it's only $28, like it's a great price. And I love the concept of it. You guys, I wanna like this dress so bad. I wanna like it so bad, but I can't. The color is great on it. I love the length of this on me, but this here would just not hold any boobs up. Like it is so loose here and I've tightened it and I've moved it around and there is just no strapping these girls in, even if I didn't wear a bra. And also like, look at the gaping here. There's no stretch down here. Like I can't do much down here. Like I couldn't go down a size. And this is just a disaster. This is a complete disaster. So we have been redeemed, thank goodness. These jeans are from uh, American Eagle. They're not from Target. I love them, they're great. Uh, but this top is from Target and I wanted to put jeans on with it because that's how I'm gonna wear this. Put a belt on this and that would be that. Throw like a statement jacket on and then away we go. I love this shirt, let's talk about it. I did size down because I wanted a uh, tighter fit and I knew that it had this backing on it, which is super stretchy. So I knew that if I wanted that like sleek look, I would need to size down. So I definitely size down in it, but it's got like comfortable puff sleeves. Like they're not restricting at all. And then a nice bust. I love the neckline on this so, so much, you guys. This is adorable. Um, the length of it is great for tucking in. Overall, absolutely love it. It does have a tie up here if you would like it to be tighter at the top or a little bit looser. There is um, some room and some stretch, but again, I did size down, so as I wanted it to be this tighter look. Here is the final outfit. Again, it's just this shirt. It is kind of like a halter style, but it's got adjustable straps. It also has that backing, that super stretchy backing. And um, I would say this is actually, I did size down just like the other shirt. And this is a little bit tighter than that one. Um, I would have, I should have stuck to my regular size on this one. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just, I can feel that it's tight. <laughs> uh, but overall, I, I like this one. This is so cute. I like how um, it's got like the peplum. So you could wear like a pencil skirt underneath it. You could wear leather pants. You could wear jeans and be sexy as hell. Like I could see myself going out dancing in this shirt. So this is, the two shirts were a yes for me. The dresses, not so much. That was it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the comments below what your favorite was or if I'm making a mistake on these dresses because maybe I'm not seeing something that you guys see and I think that that's something that I need to start accepting more is like just because I see it in the mirror doesn't mean that it translates and style can change. And so um, sometimes I will actually purchase something that somebody says is just like, if it's unanimous and people are like, girl, what are you looking at? I will give it a chance because I think that sometimes our insecurities overcome us and we miss out on getting a good piece that looks good on us because we see society's opinions on us in the mirror. It's not necessarily our own opinions, it's, it's a taut opinion. And so um, if I've seen something wrong, let me know, definitely. Um, I always give things a second chance. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be doing more of them. If there's any store that you want me to try things on from, let me know in the comments. I've linked everything down below as well for your convenience if you loved any of these. Um, 
And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend.